Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to do a quick review on a starry projector light. It's not a normal projector. It's not something that you're going to be able to play movies with. This is for like nighttime sky stuff, you know, stars and things like that, projected up on the ceiling. And it's not one of those cheapy ones. This is a little more advanced than that. And it comes with a lot of features. And I agreed to do a quick review on this so I could put this in my daughter's room. I think she's gonna love it. So let me take you down here and I'll show you what we have in the box. Now, mind you, I already opened up this box, but I just wanna kind of go through it quick. We have the operator's manual and the cord. These discs were actually in a little sleeve here, okay? These are the ones that have the image on them. There's actually another one right here Okay, so they were all wrapped up. I unwrapped some of them. And the remote was actually wrapped up. I took this out and I was playing with it already. And then projector. And I'll go over what I can see right now. I don't know anything about this, so I'm gonna have to play with it and then I'll come back and I'll finish up the video and I'll show you what this thing can do. But it looks like we got some speakers down here and unless those are fans but i'm pretty sure they're speakers and we got a little um, foot thing here that we so we can you know tilt it it wobbles a little bit it looks like the feet um, are not touching the table right there if they were a little bit longer it wouldn't wobble as much but when it's sitting there it should be fine i mean it's not gonna you know even if you bump the table nothing's gonna happen um, Otherwise, you can just put it in the center of the room, have it shoot up like that. The uh, cover here is actually magnetic, so it stays on. You got your lenses up here. I don't know what the style is here. This is where it looks like the, uh, the disc go. Okay, so you just must pop that in there. And then on the sides, we had a USB-C port right here. And we got a bunch of buttons here. I'm not sure what this guy is here. And then we had a USB plug-in over here. All right, so let me play with this for a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it can do. And I'll try to get some images of the ceiling, you know, of what this is projecting. But so far I can tell this is definitely um, a nice quality piece. And as you can see, it's not very big, but it does have some weight to it. So let me go check it out and I'll be back. Okay, before I show you what this looks like on the ceiling, I'm gonna show you a few uh, settings on the remote that I just learned. First thing I wanna clear up is that this is not a lens cover, it's a diffuser. Okay, so when you take that off, that light in the center there will just shine up on the ceiling a lot brighter compared to having this guy on there. Now, up here you have your power button and you can do most of it on the buttons on the unit itself. So uh, this second one here, turns on the center light, turns it on and off. And then this one over here will turn the planets on and off. Now there's a button over here, very first button that actually toggles through like one at a time, different combinations. So that's all everything on. That's got a blue light. Now everything's off except for this light. Now it's just the stars that are on and then now just the planets. So you can toggle through with that one, or you can just do everything individually over here. Now these buttons over here on the outside, you got the red, uh, green, blue, white. So if I press red, I get red. Press it again, it's off. Click B for blue, now blue is on. Now green, and then you got white. So then we have the brightness button. Okay, it's, a, it's under the microphone button. It's this one right here. And we can get different brightnesses. Okay, so that's like all the way down. And this is green. And I apologize if it's not showing the correct color on the lens here. Um, let's see what else do we have. We have your Bluetooth settings right around here. So you can get your, your volume down, volume up, your play, back, forward. And then you get your timer buttons down here. So another thing I want to point out is this dial right here. On the side here, this does the constellations. Okay, so this does not come out. This is set... Uh, this one cannot be changed out. You just you get the constellations that you get. 
So when you turn it, the constellations will change. And I'll sh I'm going to show you on the ceiling what this does. But if you get it right in between the middle of two clicks, you can actually get it so the constellations don't show up, but the stars are on the ceiling. And I think that's really cool. I thought that was a big plus. So you can get rid of that constellation if you don't want it. And I'll show you that as well. Now this dial right here, this is for the planets. And if you pull this guy out, you can see you have five different images on here and they give you a couple of these. Okay. So this one is, um, you know, swappable to, you know, kind of customize what you want. And this one just goes in place there and you just turn it. Okay. Now for the fun part, let me show you what it looks like on the ceiling. So I'm going to do this with no lights in the room at all. And I'll put it up on the wall and the ceiling, kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, so with the light completely shut off, this is what it's going to look like. So as you can see, you have some stars moving around, and you have the uh, the picture, and you have the constellation. Now the constellation, I did turn the dial. Let me fix that. There we go. So now you can see the constellation is much much brighter and more defined. So I'm going to turn that, and you can see the constellations change. Okay. Now to me, that's just a little too bright. I mean, it does look pretty cool. Um, but it kind of takes away from the effect, but watch what happens when you turn it and you get it right in between two of the clicks. Look at that. They're gone. So if you don't want the constellation on there, you don't have to have them. You just have to basically turn that cause I didn't see a switch and I could be wrong, but I didn't see a switch to turn off just the constellation, but just by doing that, you can get rid of them. So they're not there anymore. Okay. Let me go through the modes on this. And that's that very first button that's on the unit. Right now, everything is lit up. The uh, the stars are on, the planets are on, and that nightlight mode's on. So I'm going to go through the, the settings here. We'll go through each one. Okay, so that is just the nightlight. Now this is just the stars and the constellations. Then we have just the planet. Okay, that's that little disc with the slideshow. Now this is the one I like. This is without the nightlight, but you have your constellation, your stars, and the planets. Okay, so we could hook this up to the Bluetooth and play some music and then you set the timer and when the timer shuts off, uh, it should shut off the music as well because the music is, you know, coming through the Bluetooth on the unit. So that's kind of a nice feature. The night light's a nice feature um, with the diffuser on. I think when you take it off, it just gets too bright. And again, let me put on that light. So now we got blue light added. And again, here's what it looks like with the diffuser off. You ready? Ready, set, go. Just way, way brighter. Okay. Now we put that back on and that's what it looks like with it on. And that's what it looks like with the light off. So even when it's on and you take that diffuser off, it kind of gives like a cloudy look to it. That looks pretty cool. It's just really, really bright. Let me dim down that blue light. Okay. That's all the way dimmed down. So we still have that cloud looking like effect going on there. And so right now the diffuser's off. So right now I have it on, you know, on an angle, I got the stand down. So it's kind of shining towards the wall and it's up on the ceiling. If I was to put this back, you know, behind us on her dresser there, I think it would give it a really nice look. Or you could put it in the center of the room at night and just set it down on the floor and just have it shoot up and just cover the whole ceiling. That would look pretty, pretty cool as well. So I'm going to try just putting this foot down and aim it straight up and see what the coverage looks like. Okay. So right now I'm laying down on the floor looking up and it's got great coverage. If that ceiling fan wasn't there, that would look so cool. There you go. So there's the planet and that black part going across. That's the shadow from the, uh, from the ceiling fan. Okay. So that's with the ceiling fan on and it gives it kind of a 3d effect. Let me zoom in so you can see what that looks like in the fan blades. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So for my final thoughts, um, I think this is great. I think this would be a great gift for any kid, especially if a, a child needs a nightlight in their room. Uh, this would be a nice touch. This is a nightlight with style. I mean, it's really cool. So again, it's a starry projector light. 
and there will be a link down in the description for it and as you can see you got your multiple discs there there's one that's already inside there you get your remote and just plug it in you're good to go um, it does take a little while to learn all the functions on the remote but it's got a lot of different options and i thought it was really cool that i could turn the dial you know halfway and get that constellation just to kind of disappear so if my daughter doesn't want to see the constellation and just likes it with it you know the stars and the planets we can do it that's a really cool thing so i'm glad i figured that one out um, so if you have any questions about this i'll try my best at answering them we will end up keeping this unit we're gonna box it back up wrap it and it'll be a christmas gift so down the road if you have questions about it feel free to ask me i'll do my best at answering them so once again, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video. It really helps us out and we appreciate it. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.